Today marks the first full day Melania Trump and 11-year-old son Barron Trump are official residents of the White House, having finally moved from their New York penthouse apartment in Trump Tower. With a single tweet, Melania Trump made the announcement. The White House is no longer without a full-time first lady. It was accompanying President Trump on his first trip abroad last month that offered the public its longest and most consistent opportunity to learn more about Mrs. Trump. <laughs> After wowing international audiences with her style, who can forget that $50,000 jacket? The First Lady closed the trip with a rare public speech to U.S. military families stationed abroad. It is because of your selfless commitment that we enjoy the freedoms we have today. Since January, back home in Washington, the First Lady has taken part in official duties when she's able, hosting the wives of dignitaries. That's beautiful. Thank you very much. And making two visits to Children's Hospital. Want to sit with me? Her presence and that of Barron might also fill up some free time for the president who's been living solo and having a few extra hours to watch the news, ponder politics, and yes, tweet. Now back together, Melania could tell him to put down the phone, as she said in an interview last year she's tried to do. Sometimes he listens, sometimes he doesn't. Well, I'm not a big tweeter. I mean, I don't do too many. Being a first couple, so now full-time, also means Trump might be on better behavior, making sure not to crowd his wife off a red carpet. There's that hand swat from their trip and remembering to cover his heart for the national anthem, something that took a nudge at the Easter egg roll.